Hi everyone, it's Maggie, and I'm here with a a project share and um, some news. So uh, first, I'll do the project share. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> so let me um, get some of this stuff out of the way. I wanted to show you what I used. Uh, I had. It's actually a pouch, or I don't know what else you would want to call it. Um, but it's it's a pouch to hold a uh, a pocket journal, and I had these um, Battenberg doilies. <clears throat> so this is what it looked like before. So what I did was. I lined the in and this is this is the the pouch and I guess I could show you um this obviously won't go in it cuz it's christmas and the pouch isn't <laughs> but <clears throat> you can see it will it will fit perfectly fine in there <clears throat> excuse me so Oh, and then um, what I did was I cut it in half here. I just went right along the top after I folded it. Um, but I did line it with um, muslin, coffee dyed muslin, and just to make it, you know, sturdier. And um, and then I just started decorating. So, uh, and it's all and it's layers. So I'll have to show you. What I'll do is I'll show you the layers first. So the first layer was this trim here. And everything's Crafty Me Shop that I used. And that's what the news will be about at the end. So here's the, the wide trim. Actually, I think I had it going this way. All right, so that's under, you can just kind of barely see it though, like here and here and here. Okay, so let me put that over there. And then the next layer was this trim here. And that went on top of um, the one I just showed you. And this is a dark mauve. It's a beautiful color. I love it. <clears throat> okay, and then underneath <clears throat> the first layer, which I did on the back, was this trim here for some dangle. I love this one too. Um, oh, and then at the top, on both the front and the back, I added this this thin trim here. This is one of my favorites to um to go like around edging and that. Okay, and then <clears throat> underneath again, I added this trim here, and that went underneath just to um just to fill in some of the spaces. And then, oh, I must have put it away. Um, this trim here, yeah, I think I put it back in the drawer. <clears throat> I forgot to keep it out. But this trim here, I put on top of that, and on top of um, on top of the mob trim. And then I added these tiny little flowers on top, and little little tiny pearls in the middle. And then the last thing I did. <clears throat> I'm so sorry. <clears throat> my, um, I think my bronchitis is acting up again. So what I did was, and I just got this last week from her sale. I got a half a yard of this and it's just, it's just beautiful. So there's different, here's the bottom of it. And I think it's, yeah, this is the one that I ended up, this here, I ended up cutting, cutting this out and fussy cutting. Well, either that one or this one, now I can't remember. But um, 
<clears throat> then you have all these little appliques that you can cut out too. But I just love this for spring. And I needed to do, uh, I've been doing so much Christmas that I needed to do something springy. <laughs> Especially now with the cold weather here. Um, so I wanted this for a future journal, pocket journal. So I did, I did spring. But anyways, I fussy cut all around the netting so and then I and I actually cut these pieces off and then um, I put them in different places so that it looked like they were you know over the whole the whole top of the page but that's what that looks like I don't know oh shoot I never even noticed well I'm, I can't do this again and I can't edit it out so let me see if I can, whoop, it's to my um, webcam. Let me see if I can get it, get it underneath there. Okay, so, <clears throat> so yeah, you can see I fussy cut most of the uh, knitting off of the, and I, um, I cut a few pieces off and then I just placed them where I wanted them to go. So that's it. That's my um, that's my pocket journal pouch, I guess I'll call it. I don't know what else to call it. Or pocket journal bag or, you know, cover or whatever. So, okay. And now, <clears throat> and this was quick and easy. <clears throat> this only actually took me a few hours. I spent on it this afternoon. And then um, the news is that um and there'll be a, a link to the facebook group in the description box for crafty me shop because that's the only way that you can buy from crafty me shop and there is the last sale of the year is tomorrow afternoon and it's free shipping for um all united states orders twenty dollars or more and international gets um, half off their their shipping, so um, that's a good deal to you know take advantage of, especially where now um, there won't be sales you know for for at least um, a couple of weeks until until next month. So yep, tomorrow's the last one. So if you don't belong to the group and you want to check out, and it's going to be um, a huge sale. I'm pretty sure she said, I don't want to misquote now, but I think it was that if not everything, a lot of, a lot of things are going to be on sale plus the free shipping. So it's going to be a really good sale. So, all right, that's it. Um, thanks for watching. If you'd like, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about my little uh, journal, pocket journal pouch. And um, I'll be back again soon with another project share. Bye for now.